Hello everyone, it's Dio from Firm But Fair Gaming bringing you another World of Warcraft video. Today I am going to be going over Halls of Atonement and specifically a route that you could take for when you are doing an M10+. So this route does require some stealth or invisibility as there is a pack or two that will be required to skip. So you'll either need to purchase some invis pots or you'll need to be running with a rogue who can do the, the cloak um, for the group that'll help you get past some mobs. So this route does have you spawning three prides before the first boss using the third one to kill the first boss. And then you will spawn the fourth one right before Lord Chamberlain and then wrap up the instance. So when you first come into the dungeon and get it set to the, your 10 plus, you will, the first pull is the going to be worth 7.33%. In that pull, there is a Houndmaster, so you just got to be aware of that. Make sure to stun the Houndmaster while he's casting Loyal Beast so he doesn't enrage his pets. Um, your healer and tank will thank you for that. After wrapping that up, you'll then move to the next pull, and the next pull has... Uh, Dark Blade and um, an Obliterator, as well as you're going to pull the, the little guys on the right there, the Groundskeepers. So you're just going to wrap that up. It's worth about 6.59%. So already you're at almost 14%. And then you're going to roll into the next one here. So this bit pull is worth 7.33%. So you want to make sure that everything dies almost at the same time because at the end of it, you will be spawning Pride. So in this pack, there is another depraved Howlmaster, so you just got to be aware of that. Make sure to interrupt Loyal Beast, again, because your healer and tank will appreciate that. So once you get all those down, Pride will spawn. Again, try to kill them all at the same time. It'll just make things easier than spawning Pride while you're still halfway through a pack. So just be aware of that and make sure they all die at the same time. So you're going to get Pride knock pride out so again pride puts uh, does some aoe damage as well as puts a, a debuff on one of the players where they have um, glowing red balls around them in four different directions and then it'll pulse out and shoot the ball and if you get hit by it, you'll take lots of damage and be stunned so just what we do is we have the person who gets selected be still and then everybody move accordingly to spread out so they don't get hit when it shoots out and then you just dps pride down and move on into the next pull with the buff so the next pull is going to have a um, shard of Hykaius in it. So this guy, as he gets low, he does um, thrashing and he does some AoE damage. So you're going to utilize that, the pride buff, to knock that out. So this big pull here is worth 8.06%. So once that's done, you're going to come all the way back and you're going to do this pull here in the middle, the yellow one here. So it's 5.86%. So you're going to knock that one out. Um, in that one, those ones are just standard. Uh, you want to kick some spells. It's got some casters, so just kick as you can. Otherwise, it's pretty good and pretty straightforward there. Okay, and then after that, we're going to move into this next pull. Um, there is a, another shard of high Kaius there. Um, so there is going to be that AoE damage as well as you're pulling a couple uh, casters in it as well. So just kick as you can, um, make sure everything dies at the same time. It's going to be a bigger pull for the healer and pride again is going to spawn once this is over. So try to make sure everything dies at the same time um, and uh, you'll be good to go. So once Pride spawns, again, it's going to have that debuff that goes on a party member. Just spread out accordingly. Don't get hit by it. DPS it down. Uh, if you're feeling really ambitious, you can also pull these little uh, toiling um, groundskeepers off to the side here. You can kind of kill them while you're doing Pride. They're not too bad to handle, so you can do that. And they're going to be worth about 3%. Once that's done, you'll then move into... Go down the stairs here, and then you can pull this pack here, um, which is worth 7.33%. There is a Houndmaster in there as well, so just make sure you interrupt Loyal Beasts again. Once you get through that, there's a little pack here. There's another Houndmaster here. So you could pull this into this pull once you get things kind of under control and get the, the Houndmaster down, and then you can pull um, into this one, which has another Houndmaster. So again, you just want to make sure that you're 
interrupting the loyal beasts. This one's worth about 4.33%. And so you just wrap those ones up. And then you can move into pulling another, the last shard of uh, Helkias here. So um, this one here is going to be worth 8.06%. And then once you finish this pack here, another pride will spawn. So you'll be using this pride just to clean up the rest of the trash here. So uh, once this pride goes down, you'll then move into the middle, uh, use the light and pride. You'll just nuke this pack here. So there's a howl master in there. So again, interrupt loyal beast. Then we're going to move into this pack here, which is worth, so that one there in the middle was worth almost 8.79%. Then we're gonna move into this pack and this is worth 7.33%. So in this pack, as well, there's another Houndmaster, so just make sure to interrupt Loyal Beasts. So these combined pulls, like this pull is gonna make you a bit over once you get down through the Shard of Hakaias. So these pulls here are going to also just get you to another uh, Pride. So you're gonna get Pride, gonna nuke it down, and then you're going to move on to kill Halkaius here. So you're gonna use Pride to kill him. And then you, after that is done, pop your stealth, um, you use your rogue, your invisibility pots, bypass all this trash here, go up, and then you're going to engage and kill Echelon. So Pride will only be utilized for Halkaius, but it'll help you get through it really quickly. Then we're just going to quickly get on the Echelon, pick up some time because we're going to skip this trash, and then we're going to kill Echelon and move on to the next section of the map. So into the next section, we only have two pulls here. So this first pull is worth 7.33%. There are two Houndmasters in here. So you gotta make sure you need to have two uh, stuns here to interrupt the Loyal Beast. Um, so just get through that and then into the next pull. So the next pull is some casters. So generally what we do is we engage it while standing in the doorway here and draw them back and just kite them back into here. It gives us more area to work with as well we don't run the risk of pulling the gargoyles that are on the side. So then once you do that, uh, you're not going to spawn a pride yet, so we're just going to move up and kill the high adjudicator. Um, and then we're going to move on to the final phase here. So here we have the mini boss. So this room is worth 7.33%. So again, so this is pretty standard. There's two strategies you can do here. Some people like to engage the boss and then interrupt them and kite them around the corner and then DPS them there. If you have the DPS, you can burst them down. Uh, otherwise, you just need to clean up all the ads out here as he does his empowering phase where he draws life from them. Uh, just DPS them down, kill the trash, then kill the mini boss. Pride will spawn, kill Pride, then you move on to the Lord Chamberlain and utilizing Pride, then you just kill him and collect your loot. So this is one of the routes that my group uses. We've had success with it. It does require uh, invis pots or the rogue. One of my group members is a rogue, so we're able to utilize the invis that we have there when we need to bypass the trash after the first boss. It is, you only get the prideful for the first boss there, and then you have to kill the second and third without, but it doesn't seem to really impact us too much. We are able to meet time, and then of course you get pride for the last boss there, and then you just, able to wrap it up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the route that I've selected, uh, if you have any feedback or some additional different routes that you think work better, please let me know in the comments below.